My name is James Siberius Kirk. When we were first approached about doing Trek, we were like, can we really do that? Is, can we really take a cultural treasure that's existed for 40 years and risk potentially, you know, killing it? <laughs> we spoke to both Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner, and we sort of told them what we were going to do. And once we got their blessing, and we felt like we were in sync with what they perceived Trek to be about, we, I think it gave us the courage to move forward. Your father was captain of a starship for 12 minutes. He saved 800 lives, including yours. I dare you to do better. You have to listen to the fans when it's a property that's been around this long. They've, they're the ones who've been keeping it alive in a way. The very reason that, or part of the reason why Paramount is even interested in trying to do this again is because of its popularity in the past. How many other franchises have fans that actually have their own name that's culturally known? There's no Supermaners, there's no Star Warsers, there's Trekkers. So they deserve a certain amount of respect. Bob and I are a little different about how we draw boundaries with fan interaction because it is impossible not to take it very personally when people out there write nasty things about you. Th there's no way for us to please everybody. And we knew going maybe. into this that maybe, maybe there, maybe there is, but most likely odds are against us pleasing everybody. So you figure, all right, the only way you can mitigate against that is to be as informed as possible. Know everything right. there is to know about it, listen to everybody's opinion, take it in, and then figure out how you want to process that and what you want to turn this into. You will always be a child of two worlds and fully capable of deciding your own destiny. The question you face is, which path will you choose? Some people were complaining about, why isn't McCoy in the third poster? Does this indicate that McCoy is going to get shortchanged in the movie based on the poster? So now I'll post a, a poster of Star Trek II that also doesn't have McCoy in it. But <laughs> who, you know, it's like, hey, historically, this has happened before. You know, there's, there's only so much room on a poster. And now as the rest of the posters come out, you see that everyone's on them. But everything from why is the Enter Enterprise being built on land instead of in outer space? Why does the bridge of the Enterprise look like an Apple store? You know, <laughs> to why, you know, why is it seem like Spock is getting angry in one of the previews? Um, everything. There, there's not been a moment that's been released that hasn't been picked apart. Well, I've got no captain and no first officer to replace him. Yeah, we do. We always, in terms of Easter eggs, ask fans if they had a top 10 or 20 list of what they would want to see in Star Trek. And pretty much a lot of the things that you would have on that list, you, you're going to see. You know, people say, do you have a triple? We have a triple. You people wonder about, and is there going to be any light shed on Kirk's famous cheating scenario where he, he cheated on his final exam at the Academy? There might be something related to that. It's amazing, actually, how many um if you ask a great cross-section of people, the ten things are really pretty close to identical. I think the hardest piece of the puzzle plot-wise was the exact specific circumstances in which both Leonard Nimoy's original Spock and the bad guy ended up back in time. And I've seen a lot of speculation online about why it's happening. You know, they're there to kill Kirk or whatever. No one's got it exactly right. Uh, figuring out that specific bit, because that plot device is what allows us to get away with some of the changes that you're going to see, but it's also what allows us to have Leonard Nimoy interact with our original crew. And so getting him there in a way that wasn't just a gimmick uh, was a mind twister. James T. Kirk was a great man, but that was another life. They're locking torpedoes. Emergency evasive. Fire everything! <laughs> 